friends, it's Sherry here, and I'm sorry this video is a little late. This is my listening to all of One Wee songs and picking my top 11 video. So, um, I put out a video of me listening to all of the songs off of Planet Nine Voyager, which I will link somewhere below, maybe. I'm not good at this. But anyway, I've listened to all of their songs and um, some things to point out. Many different vibes, I love that. I think uh, for a lot of like rock, or not rock, for a lot of bands, right? People just assume like, oh, they make rock music or they make one type of music. And I think one, we are very good at doing lots of different vibes and lots of different styles of songs, which is very, very impressive. Um, I like like in the beginning when they were releasing like, uh, I think mini albums or EPs was just like one fourth two fourth three fourth and then it just was one as like the full album i thought that was really cool that's a good um thing i don't know if i've ever seen it before but i think that was really like smart but also like a little bit cheeky and then their song titles there's so many so many of them that sound like very just poetic or like are astrologically themed which I love you know like I'm a sucker for like stars moon and all that so I really do like a lot of their like just the sound of their song titles very very nice so we're gonna start with um the first song on this top 11 list and again my own music taste and this is not really in any order um <laughs> for the one we fans out there if you wanna take a guess maybe at what songs you think are on my list before I tell you well, feel free to do that I feel like a lot of you know my music taste by now <laughs> but yeah so you ready we're gonna go for the first song is reminisce about all which I think is just a good good song title it, it sounds like painful that's what it is it sounds painful <laughs> I just like, you know, kind of want to cry to the vibes. And then, like, the highlighting of just the voice and the piano in the beginning. Very good. This, I don't know, this is such a good one. I mean, they're all good. I think this list was really hard to make because a lot of their songs are just so good. Very, very talented. Very good. And just like the violin you know i always i think it's just gonna be the members and their instruments and then they like always throw something in here I'm like violin. yeah okay next one on here uh regulus which i think regulus is a star it sounds this is so poetic. It just, like, even me with my limited Korean, like, this just sounds so poetic. And I don't know how to explain that other than telling you it sounds so poetic. Oh my gosh, the bridge and its high notes. And then, like, me understanding, like, oh. the interesting like vocal effect going on here it's like you think like oh it's just like a sad slow song and it's just like nope artistic honestly next one end of spring this is like more fun. It sounds like experimental, I guess, but um, fun. It definitely like feels summery. It fits like the title really well. They're really good at creating like moods or feelings. It's like bouncy. I thought like I would just be picking like slow songs, but this is like really good. <laughs> I 
Why do they sound so good, man? So clean. Okay, next one. I have to like not listen to the whole song all the way through on this video or else it's gonna be a really long video. Next one, Eraser. Okay, and this one, I don't know, but there's a very specific part. Okay. You don't often think like band music and rap, right? But the rap is like works very well at like sort of breaking up bits of the song. So it's not just like the same all the way through. This guitar solo, oh my god. I love this. There's just something about this. And then like intensity of the drums. I like don't wanna like stop. We gotta move on. We gotta move on. We gotta keep going in this video. Okay, next one, Rain to Be. Which, like, thinking about just like the title, right? I thought it'd be like a sad song or like, you know, a slower song, but nah. I mean, it could still be sad, but it's not just like simple sad. To build, it's like like a light bouncy, catchy, and then like like really just hits hard when it wants to hit. I have no idea what that means, but the song does that. The song slaps when it wants to. And I think because, you know, they are a band, like, you pay, you pay just as much attention to the instruments in the background as you pay attention to the voice and all that because, like, you know, they want every member to shine even, like, if they don't have, like, singing parts, which I think you can, like, obviously hear, it, like, oh yeah, like, guitar solo time or, like, this part the bass really hits, this part the drum really hits, that's honestly just really talented and really well I'd say like mixed or organized like song parts that's very impressive <laughs> this whole video is just I'm so impressed with one me that's the video guys I'm very impressed number uh six cosmos and then ah uh, this is like the softer vibes it's still um this one gives me like ancient drama feeling. Like an OST kind of vibe, an, an ancient drama OST kind of vibe. Soft. It's sort of like you can close your eyes and play this in the middle of the night as you like look at the stars. Like, a lot of their songs just like paints a scene, which is really interesting to me. And then like, the male protagonist is standing there in the wind. And then star. Yeah, I really like the cos cos cosmetic. No, it's trilala. <laughs> I think oh, okay. This one. This one also sounds a little bit like an OST, but kind of like the before the protagonist like 
beats the final boss. It's like more anime, like before the fight song. <laughs> It's very cinematic, dramatic. It's like slightly more complicated in the building, but still not like insane. I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I'm just like I like this, and this is why. But it's my brain. Sticks, man, just like I mean, they would be very, very nice to hear live. <sighs> so good. <laughs> okay, and then we have Universe underscore, which I've talked about in the other video just talking about planet nine voyager which is such a good album <laughs> my it just it's soft <sighs> i feel like a lot of the songs like can start like softer and then like it just like slams you into a wall but this is just you know soft and then this is more of like a slow build up I'm gonna just keep like this whole video. We add in the guitar. Add in harmony. It's just it's like expanding out. This one would be a good one to end the concert on, or like do as an encore stage. I think it would sound really nice. Okay. And then we have Trigger, which again, also we're talking about in my other video, Planet Nine Voyager video. But this one, I think it's like almost haunting. And then the... I just wrote, love, la di la la la. <laughs> this is like that crime drama vibe. Very fitting for the name Trigger, or Trigger underscore. I don't know if you're supposed to say the underscore part. I think I, I love it when they make the, the oohs and the whoos. But yeah, you can see like how different this vibe is, but they still like rock it. I think like maybe my second favorite. Just song from them in general. Okay, and next, this one is called Starlight 2022 version, which this one just like sounds nostalgic for me. It sounds like um like a really nice. Like, like, 
a really nice shiny or exo b-side i think and, and i love some of their b-sides more than the title tracks and this just makes me like feel nostalgic for that i didn't find like a starlight other version so i don't quite know like what the 2020 version means but yeah or like it also sounds like something just like this part something like kyu hyun would sing it really highlights the vocals but yeah where where is is there another version or is it just not on here like is it on youtube oh you can imagine crying at a concert to this That's like if he sings like looking up towards the sky. <laughs> nostalgia, man, nostalgia. Okay, and then I guess maybe my favorite song, number eleven. I feel like I have to end with with this one, parting. I'm kind of sad that the other versions of parting aren't on. Um, here on Spotify. I'm like, one way, put the other versions on Spotify. Come on, man. Come on. The acoustic one. Give me the acoustic one. It's just silly. Yeah. It's so poetic. I think definitely this one would be my favorite. It also like captures a lot of what I've talked about their style, I guess, very well. The build up, highlighting of the voices, highlighting of the different instruments. Just a little bit of experimentation there. It's not just boring. <laughs> Love it. But yeah. So this is my top 11 one way songs. Uh, my favorite 11 one way songs after listening to all their songs, which again, this is really hard because they have like a lot of good songs, honestly. I look forward to what they do in the future. I know someone told me they were on, or they were going to be on this like band battle show or whatever has that happened because i will totally watch it to see like how far they get because i think they are very talented and i loved watching um super band so probably would like that show <laughs> but yeah um so do i have some of your favorite songs on here i know a lot of people were just like i can't pick a favorite because you know like i love all their songs i'm just like I understand how you feel now. I understand that completely. They really do have a lot of really, really good songs. But yeah, did you make any predictions on what songs I would have on this list? Did your predictions come true? Please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope to see my next video.